Hey, this is Kristen Greger from Pedal and Glass Photography. So, <laughs> raise your hand if you think engagement sessions are corny. It's okay, they totally are. And even so much to the fact that for my pricing guide, for those of you who have seen it, I literally call it a pre-wedding a pre-wedding photo session, just because I don't want people to conjure up these images of like the super cheesy, um, like making hands, hand hearts thing. It's not gonna be like that. So it begs the question, why even do engagement pictures at all if they can be so unnecessary and so cheesy? And the answer is that I just love getting to know people and I try not to make my photos cheesy, I don't feel like they're cheesy, but it's just a great way for us to get to know each other a little bit, to spend some time hanging out and uh, I wanted to offer some tips on how to plan for your engagement session, how to make it maybe a little unique or interesting, and not in a, and not in this kind of way. So for those of you who are planning an engagement session, I always say to start off with a spark of inspiration. And it can be something so simple, it's like um, a certain sentimental place that you guys want to get your photos taken at that's meaningful to you. It could be um, a vibe that you're going for, it could be colors that you want to incorporate, anything that gives you a starting point to build from. So then after you have your inspiration, just build on it. So if you want a woodsy feel for your engagement pictures, then obviously it's going to inform where you're getting your pictures taken and what kind of clothes you're going to wear and maybe even what time of year you're going to get them done. It'll just start to flesh out once you start with that most important spark. For us, my husband and I, we wanted to incorporate our wedding colors in our engagement pictures. So. Um, it determined what time of year it was going to be, have to be spring, it determined what kind of clothes we were going to wear, and what feel we were going for. So that's always a great place to start. So after you've got some little idea of what you'd like to do for your engagement session, keep your photographer involved every step of the way. So they're kind of the experts here, they have the creative direction to maybe help you expand on that idea that you're having. Um, I know me personally, I love it when people ask me what outfit they should wear, if they send me a few pictures. I love that because I am behind the camera all the time. I know what shapes work best behind the camera. I know what patterns don't look that great or what colors sometimes don't even go together. So your photographer will know about things you should wear. They should know different locations that might be really interesting and unique for you guys to shoot at. Um, again, they're kind of the creative experts here, so keep them involved every step in the way. My final small suggestion for you guys would be to know what you want to use the photos for. So some of you might want to use them for your save the dates, I've seen them used as guest books or um, as uh, favors to give to the guests. So depending on what you want to use them for, you're going to have to schedule your engagement pictures to be around a certain time. So obviously if you're using them for save the dates, you're going to want to schedule your engagement pictures pretty far ahead of time so that you have enough time for your photographer to get those completed and sent to you and sent out as save the dates. And of course, let your photographer know what you're planning too so they can help you make those deadlines. Those are all the tips that I have for you of planning your engagement session. I'm going to do another video on like the practical getting ready stuff that you need to know for your engagement session, but I hope this was helpful to you guys and stay tuned for part two.